Tyreek Hill, Legal Issues, Lifestyle and Net Worth 2024 Tyreek Hill, born on March 1, 1994, is an American professional football wide receiver for the Miami Dolphins of the National Football League, NFL. Hill was drafted by the Kansas City Chiefs in the fifth round of the 2016 NFL Draft. He played college football at Garden City, Oklahoma State, and West Alabama. A former track and field star, Hill played primarily as a return specialist as a rookie, but has transitioned to strictly playing wide receiver. Following his rookie year, he received the nickname Cheetah in reference to his speed. He has been selected to the Pro Bowl in each of his eight seasons in the league, won Super Bowl 54 with the Chiefs, and was named to the NFL 2010's All-Decade team as a punt returner. Tyreek Hill is an American professional football player who has a net worth of $40 million. Tyreek signed a four-year deal with the Miami Dolphins worth $120 million, making him the highest-paid wide receiver in NFL history up to that point. Having said that, let's roll. Tyreek Hill Early Life and Personal Life Tyreek Hill was born on March 1, 1994, in Lauderhill, Florida. He was raised by his grandparents, Virginia and Herman Hill, in Pearson, Georgia, and Virginia told The Oakley in 2014. I brought him home out the hospital. I prefer mother, even though I know I'm a grandmother first. A mom to him. Tyreek began playing flag football as a child, and at age seven, he joined a Pop Warner League and played with 10-year-olds. He attended Coffee High School, where he was a member of the track team and won the 100 meters and 200 meters when he competed in the Georgia 5A state meet in 2012. In December 2014, Tyreek was arrested for allegedly assaulting his pregnant girlfriend, Crystal Espinal, and Oklahoma State kicked him off the football team. After pleading guilty to domestic assault and battery by strangulation, Hill received a sentence of three years of probation and was ordered to take an anger management course. Hill and Espinal became engaged in September 2018, and in March 2019, he was investigated for battery after their three-year-old son, Zev, broke his arm. A recording surfaced in which Crystal asks Tyreek why Zev said that daddy did it and can be heard telling Tyreek that their son is terrified of him. Hill responds, you need to be terrified of me too. The Kansas Department of Children and Families temporarily placed Zev into care, and in June 2019, it was reported that medical investigations showed that the broken bone was the result of typical accident involving a rambunctious toddler, consistent with reaching out to brace for a fall. Hill and Espinoza also have twins, Nyla and Nakeem, and in July 2019, she filed for sole legal custody and residency of the minor children, shortly after they were born. In December 2020, Tyreek revealed that he was in a relationship with Keita Vaccaro, and she accepted his proposal on July 4, 2021. In March 2022, Ozimo.com reported that Hill was in a relationship with painter-slash-Instagram model Mary Isabel. Hill has been hit with a number of paternity tests over the years. In an April 2024 interview, Tyreek claimed to have 10 kids. It is known that he had three children by three different women in a four-month period. Contracts In 2019, he signed a three-year with the Chiefs for $54 million. In March 2022, Tyreek signed the largest wide receiver contract in NFL history. The four-year $120 million deal with the Dolphins came with $72 million worth of guaranteed money. Real Estate In late 2019, Hill purchased a 7,562-square-foot home near Kansas City. He put the five-bedroom home on the market for $1.3 million a year after buying it. Legal Issues Domestic Assault Conviction On December 12, 2014, Hill was arrested in Stillwater, Oklahoma on complaints of assault of his 20-year-old pregnant girlfriend, Crystal Espinal. The police report states that the two got into an argument and he threw her around like a rag doll, punched her in the face, sat on her, and repeatedly punched her in the stomach and choked her. Oklahoma State dismissed him from the football team after the charges. Hill eventually pleaded guilty to domestic assault and battery by strangulation and was sentenced to three years of probation, an anger management course, a year-long batterer's program, and was required to undergo a domestic abuse evaluation, a sentence that Espinal was consulted about and said she was comfortable with. Espinal eventually gave birth to a boy. On September 8, 2024, 
hours before the Miami Dolphins were set to begin their season opener against the Jacksonville Jaguars, Hill was pulled over by officers outside of the Dolphins' stadium while he was on his way to the game. Video, which was filmed by fans, was uploaded to social media and instantly made national news. The video showed Hill being detained in handcuffs and forced to the ground by three officers who were on top of him holding him down. Hill claimed in a statement following the game that he was accused of speeding and reckless driving and had no idea why the situation escalated like it did. Miami-Dade Police Director Stephanie Daniels told the Miami Herald that the decision to place the officer on leave came after a review of the body camera footage from the roadside incident. Despite the incident, Hill played in that afternoon's game against the Jacksonville Jaguars, where he finished with seven catches for 130 yards and one touchdown in a 20-17 win. Thank you guys for watching. Kindly like and subscribe to our channel for such amazing content.